Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. Then how do you explain the desecration of Mr. Prescott's photography project? <sighs> I didn't say I was successful. Oh, Chloe. Bullying? Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. 
I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. You're punishing her for taking the blame for me? For trying to be a good person? That makes you even more clueless than I thought. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? She just wants attention. Can't take her goody-goody label anymore, so she made up a story. Nobody believes you, princess. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. We're not friends. We don't braid each other's hair or whatever dumb shit girls do together. That's enough! Your loyalty to each other might be admirable, but nothing else about your attitude or behavior is. My decision stands. Miss Price will be suspended for the rest of the school year. Miss Amber will be cut from the play. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. 
Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was... Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later.
looks like David's here. Awesome. Max would have loved this shit. It's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. 
This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck-up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it.
this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. You're a long way from the beach. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Here we go, the pick of the litter. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. This could cover that torn seat, and look awesome doing it. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely.
Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Bryce. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone? Like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> didn't think so. You only get one chance to make a first expression. This'll give intruders something to think about.
shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? Dad, what are we doing here? Uh, are you trying to tell me something? Dad? I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. S 
So, are you going to invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got... Pretty wild. <sighs> last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. May I also suggest stepladder 